Hey, how's it going, all you lovely people? It's Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 6 of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack. And today, we're going in to the Twilight Forest. So, um, this is kind of an abrupt intro, but we are headed here because I want to actually get some resources. And actually, we spawned really, really close to something. Uh, I believe at least that's what we're looking at here. Yeah, right behind me, actually. This is perfect. Um, I want to get some resources, and I don't feel like looking for them. And I know the Twilight Forest can really hook us up here. So let's look at this. So I know I've been playing E9E quite a lot, and uh, that was supposed to be today's episode, but we did not get that because I just have not had a lot of time to play it. But uh, for one thing I know is that these mounds are full of resources, and this is a smaller one, but you can see how much stuff we're looking at here. Uh, let's quickly actually disable Silk Touch, and let's just fortune all of this. So yeah, these mounds are just full and full of resources that'll allow for us to kind of get just a little bit more progression, because I'm almost out of iron, um, so I'm hoping yeah, that we can just get a ton of iron out of this. So we're going to excavate this entire hill here, and hopefully we'll get... Quite a decent selection of stuff. It looks like we got a lot of coal. The more, the bigger they are, the better resources you're going to get out of these mounds. So just keep that in mind. Also, um, I have to mention, this is actually kind of like a little dungeon-esque type of thing with uh, Twilight Forest. Um, so whenever you mine down a couple layers, you're going to find spawners, you're going to find chests, you're going to find things that try to kill you, like the skeleton and spider. Um, spider jockey. I kind of just forgot the name of it for a second. Alright, so I accidentally fell down here, so I'm lighting this area up, of course, because spawning. Uh, let's take out this spawner here. I should have... Oh, I took that out with the silk touch. I was like, I should do that with the silk touch right as I destroyed it. And I was like, wait, I only have a silk touch pickaxe because I accidentally, um, crafted... It was the, uh, 3 by 3 with the mining laser. That's what I crafted, and I accidentally used the enchanted pickaxe. So, I don't have a fortune pickaxe anymore. I'll have to make another with mending and all that jazz. But, um, oh my. There's just a lot of creatures right here with the spiders just crawling up in the corners. This is something you'll notice. Is a lot of the, like, the spiders and stuff just get stuck in these corners. Which kind of just makes it a little bit more boring. Because you just have to go find them and clear them. Um, I mean, you don't really have to, I guess. But to make sure you've got everything kind of figured out here, you definitely want to do that. Alright, let's get rid of a lot of this goody stuff here. So some gold, an ore magnet, we'll take that for sure. A bucket, some torches. I don't think I need the flower pot for any reason in this pack. We don't have botany pots or anything like that, so not really seeing a decent reason. Uh, living root, that can make you some iron wood if you really wanted some kind of better iron armor in a sense. Uh, let's take the wheat string. That's not terrible. What do we got over here? Iron, living root, cactus. I'll grab the cactus. I think I have cactus, but I'm actually not even sure if I have cactus. Uh, nothing too great in these chests, but that's okay. Let's clear these guys out. But yeah, there is actually a diamond here as well. Um, we can quickly mine this up. Oh, let's turn off 3x3 three three for a second. So I guess diamonds can somewhat spawn in here, but not an abundance of them. I know, like, the Hydra Cave, it does a pretty decent, uh, amount of, like, rarer ores, I guess you could say. So that's something to keep in mind. But, uh, yeah, let's let's uh, keep getting all these goodies, and uh, I will be back with you guys shortly. Okay, so I think I've got all of the iron that I really could find here. Um, there's probably a little bit more hidden behind some of the rocks, but uh, a lot of this is coal and copper. I'm not too worried about coal and copper, uh, but we have about 600 iron from this, which is fantastic in my opinion. Um, and that's not counting the raw blocks of iron that we got. Uh, which we have 15 of those. So that's a pretty decent chunk as well. So let's actually just break that down. So 739. Uh, that is fantastic. Honestly. The Twilight Forest is definitely not terrible at all. Um, this is actually a giant's thing. I was kind of seeing if we could look and find maybe another mound. Uh, let's actually go up north. 
and see this hedge maze here. And so we'll be right back whenever we're there. So one of the reasons I wanted to come up here and look at the hedge maze is actually because there is spawners in here that we can kind of just silk touch. And it's fantastic. Okay, I don't think there's more than just that, but we'll be okay. Um, there is, of course, also Apotheosis stuff now with Twilight Forest. I don't know when that was fully added, but I know it's been a, it's not been here forever. Um, so that's another thing. So we can actually get some Apotheosis loot out of this. Hostile Wolf. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find another one. Because these are just, you know, decent to grab spawners out of, especially. Uh, I don't think we have another one. Oh, we do. Did we get something epic? What is this? Epic, a fixed item. So, oh, the slipstream, probably. Okay. Uh, that's good. All right, so with that trip to the Twilight Forest, we're able to kind of get further with this mob, uh, mob masher killing system here. Uh, this is the building we're currently in. I'll show you guys here in a second. So we're just kind of in an area with a centralized location, which is that block right there, which is where we're going to be able to place the spawner. And originally, I was going to do it a little bit wider, but we don't have enough resources for it, so we're going to just kind of close this in here. And we're going to put mob mashers at the bottom, and uh, that should work, right? Um, and of course, we already have a room built under this as well. Kind of just was planning ahead, getting some stuff done here. But we're going to get the mob mashers placed here. The reason we're doing so many mob mashers is, of course, because usually we want to be able to put more spawners in here, just so we don't have to build multiple structures. Uh, I have looting upgrades. I don't have any other upgrade as of current. Um, just because I don't really have a lot of resources to do the other ones. But uh, if you didn't know, these just require blue dye. Which the crushing macerator we made last episode. Um, or the episode before that. I'm not even, I don't even remember when we actually made the crushing macerator. But uh, that will actually give you a ton of blue dye per piece of lapis. Uh, actually, if we look here real quick... Um, you can see, I mean, even this gives you a 50% chance. Corn flowers. But yeah, lapis is two per and potentially 75% uh, of getting a couple more or, you know, tripling it, which is good. So definitely a good option there. But looting for now. Of course, these won't be turned on until we get levers and stuff downstairs. Um, but let's quickly build back up here because I am working on getting the vector plates. We're kind of just going with the old fashioned design here just because it's quick, it's easy. We know it works, um, and uh, everything like that. Of course, holding shift prevents you from sliding around on these, which is fantastic. But yeah, I'm going to get all of these placed, and we will be right back if I can take out this one. Goodness. Alrighty, so we've got the basic item collector here, uh, which is fantastic. Let's quickly grab the Wither Skeleton Spawner here, and let's head back over uh, this basic item collector, it's not going to be the best option, but it'll be good for now. Uh, we don't have anything to collect XP, so we probably need to look at XP Obelisk. Uh, this right here actually should work. Well, let's quickly grab one of those, because uh, this does not pick up um, XP. So we'll need just kind of that separate thing to do it. Um, we probably could look at like modular routers or something if we really wanted to. But I'm going to try and conserve a little bit of resources here. Just a wee bit. Not too much. But uh, I also really just don't feel like getting into all the modules and stuff right now. Um, I definitely... I think one of the things I want to kind of focus on this one, this pack, is trying to keep uh, things upgraded to the kind of like level where we are, right? So let's get this spawner placed. And then Redstone Link... And then we're going to grab a Create Wrench here. Of course, Redstone Links aren't that expensive. Uh, let's quickly look this up here. Um, this is just a brass casing, which is just like the andesite casing, but with brass instead. And then a Redstone uh, Torch there. So right-clicking on this will give you a little umbrella. This is Receiving. So we're going to do Cobblestone there. 
And then let's make sure to get rid of all of this extra rock and debris. We want to keep this above it so nothing spawns on top of the redstone link because it can uh, and just sits there, you know, so we don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, this is going to be fantastic here. So let's clear this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're downstairs here and we have the uh, ability to place an oak chest, the gold oak chest that I just made, and a basic item collector. And then of course we want to show this range I believe, yeah, you can see here, but we want to make sure this goes up. So let's actually, yeah, let's try and confine this. So this is actually going to be pretty small. So just like that. And then we want to basically increase the actual y-axis, right? The y-axis is what I'm thinking. Let me stare away from something here. Yeah, the y-axis is the up and down. Okay. Um, and we can just, you know, just send it on that and then make sure that's as high as we can go. That's fine. Uh, the next thing, of course, XP obelisk, place this down. I don't think we can change the... Oh, we can change the radius. I did not know that. Cool. Uh, but this will allow for us to pick up XP. The next thing we want to make sure we do is actually get this stuff toggled on. Um... I don't know how we fully want to do this. We may just want to place a lever on the bottom of all of these, which is doable. I mean, it's not hard. Oh, I guess I can't, uh, I can't do one in the center. Uh, let's try. How do I want to try this then? I mean, we could drop this down one if we really needed to. But let's do that real quick. I ha I think I have an axe in this backpack. Fantastic. So let's drop that down as well. Get rid of these levers and we'll just place blocks under all these. Uh, but I think, yeah, okay, so I did still fetch this. Perfect. And then this will be how we toggle all of these on and off. We can probably come up with a better solution in the future, but for right now. Um, and then we want to shift, place a block, place the oak chest, place the collector. Make sure this is as high as it goes, two and two. Uh, that's perfect. And then the experience one we can actually just set like right up here. Doesn't really matter. Oh, it actually carried its settings. That's pretty nifty. Okay. So now all we should be needing is the other redstone link, which I should have somewhere right there. And we should be able to just place this, place a piece of cobblestone, turn this on in a second once I actually go close it all the way up. Okay, so now we should be golden to turn this on. Maybe. Am I too far away from it? Uh, oh, there they go. They are fighting it. I also don't hear them. Oh, it's because they're silent, right? That's why. <laughs> I forgot. I put silent on these guys. So we should be able to come down here. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hold up. Hold on. <laughs> Well, you can already spawn a wither, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are excited for that one. But I did not expect these diamond swords. I forgot that they were equipped with leather armor and stuff. Hold up. <laughs> um, I mean, this is cool. But what are we going to do with these things? Uh, what are we going to do with these? I don't think there's really anything we can do. We don't have any salvaging mechanics, right? Um, a warrior upgrade? That's pretty cool. I, yeah, I don't think we have any like salvaging or anything. I mean this, but that's for a fixed items, right? You can't just throw in normal swords. Um, do we have like a disenchantment? We do have a disenchanter. 
We have a disenchantment mycelial generator, which requires an advanced machine frame, which is a little bit above where we're at. Huh. Well, that's a very, very strange problem to have in modded, is where we really don't have a path forward with these. I mean, we could look at cyclic and kind of transfer all these enchantments, but it is just tier two. We could make power out of it, which we've done several times in the past. Um, let's see. Let's look at sharpness. Uh, is there a way to look at sharpness too? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Thank you, Ars Nova uh, uh Sharpness two, 16 seconds, 64 FE a tick, total of 20,000. So it's not even worth it. Okay. Um, man, I wish I could just do something with these swords to repair them. But I don't think we have, like, a grindstone, like an auto grindstone or anything like that, right? A recycler upgrade. Removes enchants and recycles metals, armors, tools, and weapons. Um... Hmm... I don't know if that's what we'd want or not, though. You know what? Let's go see if we can grab one real fast. I don't think this will work, but I also am not really fully vested in pedestals. So, um, what do we need for it, then? Because it does say metal, right? It doesn't say um, gems or diamond, but we can... I guess we can look. If offhand... Uh, stick, gold, bookshelf. Okay. Let's get over to the base. Okay, so this is what it says to do. There we go. We got the upgrade wand. Uh, let's grab a piece of gold, because all we need to do is this, this. And remember, with the upgrade tool, of course, we can shift right-click to change it, because right-clicking does nothing. So that's how you get the other variations to make different things. Uh, we need a grindstone, which is... Some sticks, some planks, so let's grab two sticks. Let's grab two planks. So let's grab a full log here. And then stone to make a stone slab. Okay. So then that plus that equals that. And then we're going to need some sort of chest, which I think we have a couple iron chests in here. Okay. Uh, and then... I think we just need a pedestal, right? Just a pedestal, which is this right here. Oh, is this a different tool? I mean, that's fine if it is. I just didn't know. I thought you could get them all from one, but it's a linking tool, not a tool. Okay. Um, uh, quartz and a stick. So quartz... And a stick. And a bookshelf. Okay, we got the backwards variation. Doesn't really matter. You can just change them. I don't know what... I think the reason there's two is because this one does... Uh, yeah, sender to receiver. This one does receiver to... Or sender... From receiver to the sender... Okay, so let's just get a pedestal here. I don't think this is going to work. Genuinely, I, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, so I've got the chest down. I've got the pedestal down. We'll offhand this. And then the way this works... I actually just collected experience. But I don't think it's going to be able to do anything with the sword. I mean, it did just disenchant it. I mean, that's cool, but that's kind of wasteful. Because, um, I mean, yeah, if you just throw a sword in here over time... Hold on. I think you need to throw them in here. It comes up, gets disenchanted... And then, yeah. Okay, kind of useless. Um, 
I don't think we really have a, anything we can do with this then. We may just have to trash can him. Okay, uh, trash can. What kind of trash cans do we have? Uh, we have the rats trash can. We have the item trash can. If I can get a crafting table here. Now let's just do this. Make it quicker, right? Uh, we'll make a trash can. Just needs a chest. But yeah, looking at that pedestal thing is cool. We definitely have some ways to salvage things. I just wish there was a little bit more JEI support for for the pedestals. Um, and this has a filter, right? Yeah, just built-in filter, which is fantastic. But I don't think that's actually going to work. Because these have tags. Um, one thing after another with this, with this isn't it? Uh, do, 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 do. I think either laser IO or pipes. Probably pipes. For now. So we're going to need some iron. Some redstone. Okay. Uh, but then we're going to need immediately to grab... A filter, and then we're going to need to upgrade this to, I think, the advanced tier, aren't we? Because the advanced tier is the only one that has, um, has filtering. Which is really, really weird. I still never understand why you have to go through so many tiers on pipes to get to filtering. It's like most mods, you have filtering on at least tier 2 of those pipe systems. This one, you have to go through a decent chunk before you get there. Basically the third to last, or the second to last, third tier. Yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, anyway, we have it. That's fine. Um, we have a create wrench, so we should be able to set that to filtering. Let's get back over to the mob farm. Okay, so trash can here. Doesn't really matter about the torch, but we'll place it back down here. Uh, pipe, create wrench, advanced pipe upgrade. We are accidentally just voiding everything. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. We'll get it all back, right? Um, so here, we're going to add a sword. We're going to completely remove this. Um, regular, submit. Doesn't really matter what the sword is. It should just be voided. Okay? That's exactly what we want. So let's flip this back on. I think we may need to stand a little closer to this. But I think that may be close enough. Okay, yes, we are starting to get stuff back in here. So, this pedestal thing can just go bye-bye. Not really the most useful thing in the world. But that's okay. Um, but we'll use the pedestal and stuff in the future. And maybe we will look at, you know, taking stuff and dismantling it if it's a metal item. Um, you know, it's a possibility. But we're already getting tons and tons of Wither Skeleton Skulls, even without beheading. We're getting tons and tons of coal and bones. Uh, we're gonna have to set up a, um, a drawer system very, very soon, because I don't have a stack upgrade right now, I think. Yeah, I don't have, um, that right now. So we'll, I'll grab that stuff off camera. Alright, but with that, we're gonna wrap this one up, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!